What's going on? Today, I'm gonna to show you step-by-step -step how to set up and route MIDI CC from Gatekeeper to control instruments and effects. So I have an instance of Omnisphere here that I'd like to control, say, the filter cutoff with MIDI CC from Gatekeeper. So the first thing I need to do is create a MIDI track. I'll call this Gatekeeper. And I'm gonna put this above my pad just for signal flow purposes. Next, I'll go into my browser and it's very important that you use the VST2 version of Gatekeeper. It's the only one that will ensure all the functionality works properly. So I'll drag this onto my MIDI track labeled Gatekeeper. Next step is to right click on any one of the breakpoints, go to Envelope 1 MIDI Out, and I'll set to CC1. Next, I'll go over to my pad, and on the input section here, I'm going to select Gatekeeper. And then in order for the MIDI CC data to pass into here, I need to arm this to record. Okay, last step is to open up my third party instrument and whatever parameter I want Gatekeeper to control, right click, MIDI CC learn. And now you can see that the filter cutoff is being controlled there. And I'll do the same thing on the second part of the patch, MIDI CC learn. So let's jump over to Gatekeeper and hit play and take a listen. So now you can hear Gatekeeper is sending MIDI CC that's controlling the filter cutoff of Omnisphere. And if I wanted to, I could play with the time to make it faster and also play with the amp to make it more or less intense. like it about right there. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Now let's look at how to route MIDI CC from Gatekeeper to control an effect like Comet. So on my pad track here, I have an instance of Comet. And if I wanna control this, there's an extra step that I need to do. So I'll create another MIDI track, and this one I'm gonna call MIDI Through. And just like we did with the pad track, we're gonna set the input to come from Gatekeeper. And then instead of having this arm to record in auto, I can just set this to in so that it's always passing MIDI data from Gatekeeper. Next, I'm going to the output section and I'm gonna go down to pad. And instead of track in, I'm gonna select Comet. And then let's go back over to Gatekeeper and select the breakpoint, hit A and then C to select all the points and copy them and paste them into a new envelope. The reason that I'm doing this is I wanna keep the settings from envelope one to control the filter cutoff of Omnisphere, and I'm gonna use envelope two so that I can have independent settings to control parameters inside of Comet. So let's turn on this envelope, right click on a breakpoint, envelope two MIDI out, set to CC2. Lastly, let's go back down to our pad, and if we go into Comet and go into settings, and since I've set that second envelope to MIDI CC2, I can click here on the size and type 2, and now you can see that the size is being controlled by Gatekeeper. Now before I hit play, I'm going to go back into Gatekeeper and turn the amp down on envelope 2 so it's not affecting it too much. So now it's just got a little bit of movement here. So let's hit play and take a listen. All right, so we have simultaneous control of both a third-party instrument and an effect using one instance of Gatekeeper that's sending multiple MIDI CC messages using multiple envelopes. I hope you found this helpful and inspiring. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to check out our other videos on using MIDI CC with Gatekeeper. All right, thanks again, until next time.